Hey guys, welcome to Learn the Nuance. I'm Ian, and we are back with more Percy Jackson and the Olympians. And last episode, we met Ares and Hephaestus. Um, I like uh, now Ares is kind of is obviously a tool, but I mean, the actor did great, and the actor for Hephaestus. I mean, I just love Timothy Elmanson. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I see him in Psych. Um, uh, I've seen, really seen him in too much else, to be honest. <laughs> um, but but I, you know, I did love him in Psych. And uh, it was really cool seeing him as Hephaestus and his interaction with Annabeth also like showcasing him being a little more lenient than the god, the other rest of the gods. Um, but also showing Annabeth's like her, her growth throughout this season, like seeing her, uh, we, we saw her, like starting in the second episode and then we not like we kind of saw the start of the change in the third episode, like like the just like the very smallest beginnings. Um, but then, you know, the growth since then, um, and, you know, it's, it's an eight episode season, so it's gotta be a little quick, but, you know, I, I thought it, I thought, I think it works. Um, and I like that it's kind of like showing like one of the things, one of the things that Percy brings is like a, a different perspective to this kind of world where people are, you know, kind of trying to live up to the, their godly parents and such, um, but showing them like kind of a different out, uh, outlook. Um, though Luke probably has a hmm kind of a similar outlook just on a different on the on the different end um and we haven't really seen much of that um uh we haven't we haven't really seen too much of luke um i kind of hope they, they show a little bit more like they're like in the book they have this the this iris message where they can use they basically like give a drachma to like some kind of fountain and then that kind of gives that water uh uh, I don't know if it has to be like a spray, but regardless, anyway, sorry, like basically the rainbow goddess sends a message to, um, whoever they want it to, um, so that would be cool if we could maybe do that. We're going to the Lotus, uh, casino, which I'm excited for, uh, I'm curious how, what they're gonna do with the casino, uh, scene, like if we're gonna spend, if they're gonna lose time there, I mean, that's like a huge, a huge thing about that, because they don't have, like, um, well, at least when they get to the, the casino, they have like five, six days, um, uh, which was like a good, a good pocket of time. And then unfortunately the whole thing with, you know, the Lotus Casino, they lose time. It, it seems like they've been there a few hours, but they lose like five days. Um, so that's interesting. And then this time Hermes is going to be there. Cause apparently, uh, cause Aries was saying like, you know, Hermes goes there sometimes his driver could take you to the, you know, underworld, blah, 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 blah. So that's gonna be interesting seeing uh, another, uh, again, another early, um, interaction with, with Hermes, because we haven't gotten, we, because we didn't get one with Hephaestus this in, in the book. In the book, we don't meet Hephaestus or Hermes, the only god we meet other than, like, we meet, uh, Ares, Hades, and then, you know, the, uh, Zeus and, and Poseidon. Technically, we meet others, but they don't really speak too, too much. Um, but anyway, sorry. Um, I'm just excited to see, like, what they're gonna do with the casino, and, like, it, how far after that we're gonna go, like, if we're gonna, if the casino scene's gonna be kinda short, and then we're gonna, gonna get, get to the underworld, because after this, we only have two episodes left, and there's a scene that I'm really excited to get to. And I'm, and I'm curious, like, what kind of role Hermes is gonna have in this scene, because he does seem a little bit more, I mean, in the, he is, he is usually a little more empathetic, um, uh, at least in, in the book, he was in the, in the, in the Percy Jackson books. He was a little more, uh, not much of a douche to the demigods. Uh, and when he was bringing the, the head that Percy sent, you know, he was, he seemed a little more like, like he was, he seemed more with the joke. So I don't know. We'll see. I guess what Hermes does. Do you think you're special lightning thief? Do you think you cannot be replaced? I gave you the tools to steal the Master Bolt, only to watch it taken from you. That mistake has been corrected. Give me reason to question your worthiness again, and there is another that just might be ready to take your place. Isn't that right, little hero? Oh, Not time for us to meet quite yet. Run along now, and show me what you are capable of. Ooh, I like the way he did that. <laughs> oh! There, I got a signal. Iris message! Yay! Sorry. Toss the CV brain. Oh, they talked about it already. Ooh! Okay, this will never stop being weird. <laughs> if you want the god's attention, you have to pay for it. Chiron's office. Look. 
Oh, this... Percy, are you okay? That's cool. No, we're, we're fine. Where's Chiron? Chiron's holding camp together with both hands. Everyone thinks we're going to war, so the cabins are taking sides. Please Yeesh. tell me you're calling with good news. We know who sold the bolt. How do you know? We ran into Ares, and Grover got on talking and realized Ares knew who the thief was, but was covering for them. So who would Ares cover for? Okay, other yeah, men? Favorite favorite Clarice. Clarice is the lightning thief. Chiron's got to arrest her. Find out what she knows. So Ares, huh? What was that like? Well, unpleasant <laughs> compared to the Chimera on Monday and Medusa on Sunday, it's been a lot worse. <laughs> Very Medusa true. Saturday, I thought Sunday. No monsters on Sunday. Monday, you died in the river. Right, so Medusa on Saturday. God, what is this? What? what? Why did you turn into an old married couple? Hey, 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 chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Not to change the subject, but I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> We're headed to Las Vegas. To... We can do our best to help all these animals escape, but not if it means we're jeopardizing the quest. Oh, no, no, no. They've already got a plan to get themselves Heck out. Heck yeah, guys. And us, too. Sick. I mean, zebra. some of these guys are so smart. Percy, they talk were really to zebra. only missing, like, one piece of the puzzle to get the cages unlocked. Us. What's that? Thumbs. Uh. But we're here now, so these guys, they're, they're like artists. Oh boy. <laughs> Very artistic. This looks like it does look like an artist artistic picture. I know we're supposed to be saving the world, but would it be unprofessional if we just hung out here for a bit? Your mom told you all the stories. Did she read you the Odyssey? The graphic novel. <laughs> it counts? Odysseus lands on a beach. There's these guys who've forgotten where they came from, forgot everything that was important to them. And they got that way because they ate the lotus flowers. What do you think, wise girl? Just don't eat anything. Oh, boy. Wait, why were you looking at me when you said that? <laughs> what are you going to say to Hermes or Grover again? I was with Luke for a long time before Grover found us. I saw stuff Grover didn't get to see. Like meeting Luke's dad? Like meeting his mom. She's a seer. A human who can see through the mist. Sometimes I see stuff that messes them up. I think it happened to her. And Luke blames Hermes for it. And I think Hermes would do anything to win him back. Maybe helping us is a start. This is just hard to talk to my friends about it. I don't know if they can understand. I found him. No, I found Ferdinand. It's okay. I shouldn't be bothering you. No, not Ferdinand. I found Pan. What? Almost. He's he's here. I've almost got him. Grover, I've just been waiting for for someone to to help me break through to him. And here you are. But today it was different. Like I somehow ended up in his dream. Like I was eavesdropping on him talking to Talking to who? The lightning thief. To the person who stole the master bolt for him. You're eavesdropping on Hades, conspiring with Clarice through your dreams. The part I don't get, though, is that they were talking about what comes next. Like getting Zeus and Poseidon to fight was only the beginning. And they're planning something bigger on top of it. Something the gods don't even know about. I mean, what are we supposed to do about that? I don't know. You don't know? There are things I don't know. Dang. Yeah, but if you don't know, I mean, You're my what chance do I have? Aww. Well, it isn't going to make any difference unless we actually get to Santa Monica first. True. We don't have much time. I don't understand. If you're not eating the flowers, then why are you forgetting things? What's happening here? I gotta tell my... I gotta... Wait, I was here with... Someone, wasn't I? Oh, boy. You're here with me. Oh, God. Yeah, it's just a place. <sighs> There's something else maybe that's ahead? I don't know. This is, uh... The big wave comes and... Hey! The boy back onto the beach. 
Oh, GGF. Oh, GGF. Oh, that was... You won't be the first demigods to walk away disappointed. So you might as well at least play a little bit. We're friends of Luke's. Didn't know that one, though. Yeah. Okay. Aww. Time and space are easy, kids. Parenting is something else entirely. <laughs> Have a seat. I was warned to stay away from Luke and his mother. Warned that no matter how much I tried to help, I would just make things worse. And I went anyway. And it wasn't just awful for Luke. It was awful for all of us. Do you know what that feels like? To be so close to someone you love, knowing neither of you has any choice but to keep hurting each other. She's right to be angry. It isn't fair. None of it is. Thanks. That's super helpful. It was your father who warned me to stay away. Said it was awful watching you struggle and feel powerless to stop. But that sometimes that's what parenting is. If it makes you feel any better, it won't be much use now anyway. What's that supposed to mean? Time's weird here. Every second in here is like minutes outside. Hermes let us sit at that table the whole time, knowing the clock is running out on our quest. Yes. And I feel a lot better about having stolen his keys. Exactly. Oh. Wait, what? Uh, oh. <laughs> Got invisible hey. in his pocket. You picked Hermes' pocket? I'm not talented. Now, <laughs> all we have to do is find this car. And I can't believe I'm the one saying this, but it's really time to go. Of course. <laughs> Where are we going? You don't know who we are, do you? Yeah. No, I don't. Have we met? Percy, Annabeth. We're your best friends. Really? Oh, boy. I was hunting for Pan. Sounds great. No, I, I mean, like, I actually felt I was about to find him. That, that I'd be the first. That I'd help save the natural world. Just felt so real. Guys. Hermes drives a cab? And left us a note. How do we know that's for us? To the dumb kids. <laughs> Should have known the god of thieves notices pocket. Yeah, I think he did let you do it. He can't help Back you. To the underworld. Yeah, sure. I mean, I killed the Minotaur on my first try, right? How hard could this be? Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, Hermes. My fault. Sure, it'll bump out its own. How do you make it go backwards? Why didn't Annabeth do this? You're doing great. Maybe try aiming for the middle. Oh. No. No. You're welcome to give this a try. Please. What? No, Annabeth, you have to. You're the only one who could possibly do this. Oh. Oh. That guy didn't even slow down. <laughs> Already picking up on some things. Oh god. Okay. You've got this. This is like the, <laughs> the most harrowing part of their quest yet. <laughs> Jesus. I love the music. <laughs> it's like high tense octane fuel. <laughs> Pull to the side, Percy. Oh, not too not that much to this side. More to the other side. Stop. Or keep going, actually. No, yeah, you're right. Might as well. Thank God this taxi's magic. Jesus Christ. I think I gotta go meet my dad now. Oh. We'll be here when you get back. It's better not cut off here. <laughs> the shortest episode. What do I say to him? You'll know. Oh, it's her, I think. Sorry. He waited as long as he could. The summer solstice passed earlier this evening. Zeus's deadline has elapsed. What? He asked her to relay a message. This is not your fault. You were brave. You were strong. 
You made your father proud. Now, it's time for you to return to camp. I have me. to stop him. Guys. I have to keep going. If you can help, then you must help. So willful. Just like him. There is so much of him in you. We all see it. What belongs to the sea can always return. Four crystals. Okay, so let him get one. Provide one of you safe passage back from the underworld. Okay. Save the world. And then run. go save your mother. Okay. Interesting. Kind of like that, honestly. No, it was still a short episode. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> the downside with these lights in the back, which I know I don't need them, but I think they add a little bit of color. <laughs> um, makes it hard to see the screen sometimes. <laughs> it's a um, bit of a glare, but that's fine. Um, it was just hard to see. Uh, the naiad a little bit um that's what she is right she's a naiad i think that's what that's how it said um narrate sorry no i was combining dryad and naiad or whatever she's a narrate um interesting okay so in this in the book um they shoot they were only given three crystals um and i'm trying to think so, possibly, this is kind of a spoiler, um, so I'll play a little thing here, um, but in the book, you know, they get to the underworld, some stuff goes down, and then Percy, you know, realizes that there's only three, and either he realizes then, or he already realized it, but he's trying to figure out what to do, was probably thinking about letting himself stay, and then sending those two and his mom up, but basically, um, he had to choose to leave somebody behind, uh, if he wants to save his mom. Um, but ended up not doing so. Ended up, you know, having to sacrifice, I don't you know, get, saving his mom to get him and his friends out because he knew his mom wouldn't forgive, would, wouldn't let, like, she basically would, like, think... It's not something, basically, it's not something his mom would have, like, wanted to do to, like, basically leave, leave one of his friends behind to save her. Um, and also that's a very difficult decision to make, but she also, the thing what would have been an easier decision was to let himself stay, but she knew that she would be distraught with that and he wouldn't want, he didn't want to leave her with that emotion as well. So there's that whole thing. Um, the only issue is like that I did have with that situation, like I'm glad he went, he decided on that, but it's also like the, the way that, uh, Rick had wrote that. I, the one thing I kind of felt weird about that whole time is like, it almost was like a... Um, a useless quest in a way because of all that in 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 a in a in a, in a, in a way, um, because there was like no, but they didn't even have. This is definitely a a, a a spoiler, but they didn't even have the lightning bolt until they got to the underworld because of the backpack that Ares gave them has like an enchantment that'll like bring it to them, bring the bolt to that bag, and uh, and uh, Hades' helm. I'm not sure if that's gonna be a thing here in this in the show. That they have his helm, but at the very least, the bolt's been taken, um, and then it shows him the backpack. Um, and so when they take it to the underworld, there's like a threshold it meets where it, you know, it shows up there. Um, and uh, also the fact that you know the the shoes that Grover has are going to that he's wearing right now are basically cursed to or enchanted or whatever to basically take whoever is wearing them, which was supposed to be Percy, to Tartarus, where Kronos currently is. Um, to give him the bolts, basically. That's like not the that's like not like the main plan, but that's like the start of kind of like a uh, basically. If, it's basically like if, if everything goes exactly according to my evil plan, I'll have the lightning bolts. But it's not a necessity. Um, it's not a deal breaker if we don't get it. Um, a huge disappointment if we don't, but not a deal breaker, as we kind of saw with you know Kronos. Another spoiler: Kronos talking to Luke in the dream, um, in Percy's dream. That was, you know, a very interesting thing about demigod dreams is like, yeah, they get kind of like visions of 
of what's going on like the the the, the story in the background but it's also like sometimes they'll be, they'll be put uh like a, a layer of like of like people that they that they actually know that they already know because they you know and also Kronos doesn't really have a fate like he's it's it's so like the, the I don't know if it was the 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 dean or whatever or the headmaster or whatever it was that the probably not headmaster the dean or the teacher or whatever of the school of the of Yancey Academy um, that's who he saw as Kronos um, and it was like you know the the school environment. Um, so it's like, it's a, it's, you know, a weird thing. One, it's how, it's also the weird thing of dreams, but also it's just like, that's kind of how it, it would work with the, with the demigods of just like mixing in what's happening or like what, like the supernatural aspect of it with like things that are, that seem normal. Um, but yeah, there's, you know, with Kronos kind of like, you know, you're dis I gave you the tools and still you failed. You better, you still have a, a chance to fix this before I find somebody else who's more suitable um and he, you know then he he acknowledges percy which is terrifying because <laughs> like i see you creeping in on me through this dream thing but i can still i know that you're watching through a dream it's just like jesus <laughs> that's, uh, that's terrifying um i mean and we've seen how chronos has like entered percy's dreams already but it's 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 different because again that was it was like he was seeing a member like yeah it was just yeah um but like yeah, it, it almost going back. It it, it felt like because he went all the, he went there to get the lightning bolt and to save his mom, and in the end, he leaves without really changing too much. Like he he leaves, he doesn't get his mom back, and so like there was almost like no. I mean, I mean they the through the whole quest like that they have you know these the three had bonded and they had acquired you know. Uh, experiences that could help them and then they also through that were able to discover a, a, a deeper plan uh that uh somebody has um but it's just i don't know it it, it did kind of feel like it was almost i don't know again that's why i said it was kind of use uh uh waste of a quest but th for the there are reasons that it wasn't um so i kind of like that they given they gave, they have given them for but they're also they might do a thing where like one of them breaks or where one of them you know yeah one of them is lost or shattered through some kind of situation while they're in the underworld so that could be a such that could be a thing and it's very it's, i think it's funny that they also ended this episode with percy in the water again because how the not last episode but the episode before had a you know it cut off with percy being in the water this one clear but yeah um uh, in the water talking to the narrator again um the same one i'm assuming uh, just we can see her clearly more clearly because it's not a disgusting uh water uh yeah lake whatever not lake you know what i mean um but yeah so we did have the lotus casino a very different uh uh situation scenario uh they knew about the whole thing of like you know don't eat these things here because they you know that you know that you'll forget and, every, and everything but they also like pump it into the air <clears throat> which hermes apparently let percy in on um but let me see if they like cut away before percy because i thought percy had already walked away uh before they cut off that scene oh okay okay yeah so they did cut got it okay so he tells them after okay, sorry i don't know why it felt weird to me but anyway um and another ch interesting change in the book, they had a day left, but in this one, it seems like the the they uh, crossed the the uh, uh, deadline. So that's very unfortunate. Um, they don't have they have even less time. Um, they're like uh, racing the clock. Even the, the you know the narrator. I don't know if they said her name or if they showed her name in the subtitles, but um, like you know she's like you you're released from your quest. Your dad says basically go back to camp. You did you know you did you did great you did your best you were brave you were uh you know all this stuff but you know you know you didn't disappoint basically you you, you, you did what you could you gotta go home now um you're going to camp uh but you know they're like no i'm not we're we have to do this um and there's again there's more that the, that that zeus and poseidon that the gods don't know there's something more going on here than just this war uh, uh incoming war um so yeah there's that. Um, but yeah, interesting that they did that. I'm sorry, but yeah, with that whole situation, um, uh, that, that being different, 
where you know they don't they already know the of what the 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 toll the casino can have on on them but it's not necessarily just eating the, the that more makes you like forget well i guess it's more direct but i guess they they pump it into the air now um and he was hermes is one that 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 actually reminded them about grover or reminded percy which helped remind annabeth they don't seem to remember grover at this point which is very sad um but luckily it doesn't last very long um very interesting stuff too. Like there was even more because we haven't really delved too much into Grover's a whole thing about you know and and their and the satyrs search for for Pan. Um, and they've first mentioned of the searcher's license. I mean they mentioned like the, them becoming searchers, but not really the searcher's license. Um, and Gro they were mentioning that why it hasn't really brought up too much is Grover doesn't feel like he could bring it up to his friends, uh, which is sad. Um, but. And being like free to kind of like not remember who they are, he he almost like felt even uh, he felt freer to you know kind of delve into like the passion or that that strong the strong emotion he had to like searching for Pan, um, even though he doesn't have a search li license yet. But maybe this will kind of give him the push to I don't know I don't because they didn't really delve into like that into like whether he's failed to get his searcher's license because I don't so I don't know if he's like if he has yet attempted to get his searcher's license or if they're going to like you know this is kind of what sparks him to finally going for the searcher's license so like he's going to have his, he's going to go for the searcher's license now um and then he'll have it by the end of this uh of the season and that kind of leads into what we do next season um the it seems like that guy was had like played this 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 the vr game that they were playing in like searching for pan probably to uh to uh reestablish uh the like decreasing and weakening nature um I'm wondering, I'm wondering about something. I was kind of hoping we were going to see a little more into the VR, but that would take, you know, some extra time and possibly some some of the budget. Uh, just if we wanted to create another set or, like, even the green screen effect if they were to do that. Um, but that might this might kind of be the thing that kind of jumpstarts Grover on his on his uh, path to finding Pan. Um, and so I was, wondering, and I was curious about that because when he was saying, you know, I almost found out I was so close it's because of that game probably. Um... So I was kind of curious, like, if that was going to get things, they're going to mush Pan into here, which I wasn't sure how I felt about that, but then I was just like, well, we'll see how they how they do it, how they handle it. I don't feel like that they would, like, mush so much together uh, in this season, especially in, in this into this episode. Um, but it was more so just, like, probably giving Grover his jumping off point to, like, his own, his own quest. But, yeah, so going back a little bit to the beginning, I was really happy that they answered my question almost immediately. Um, not my my question, but you know about getting a little more, a little more of Luke, which we got a little bit more, but still like and doing it through the, uh, the uh, the iris message, which was you know very uh, clever way of doing it. They used the prism, um, and the sunlight through it to kind of get like a very uh, a you know the 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 light ref refraction on the on the wall. Um, it was a very it, it was a very cool effect, a very a simple probably simple effect. Um, Annabeth had to be really good with that light because, I mean, one little move and it would probably shimmer away, which we saw, I mean, she jerked it to where basically end the call. Um, because, uh, you know, Percy was about to bring up Hermes, which is a very touchy subject as we, we kind of saw a little glimpse of it, um, whenever Luke was giving Percy the shoes, um, and he's like, this is a gift from my father. Um, so yeah, we, and you see the, you saw the look on his face, he was very kind of like, like restraining from clenching his jaw, basically. Um, so you could kind of get, um, if you didn't already know from reading the books that you kind of already get that there's a not great past, a very, uh, embittered past between them. And as we saw here, we got a little bit of that situation of like, she was a seer and how that, you know, kind of drove, kind of messed her up a little bit. And it seemed Hermes um, tried to help, and in doing so, it made, made it worse. Um, I'm not going to delve too much into what that is, um, um, just in case they adapt that, they include that in the next and then in the following seasons. Um, it's a very interesting, sad story. Um, but it, you know, there's there's stuff that um, yeah, there's stuff in there. Um, but I did like like he didn't necessarily know who they were. He knew they were demigods. Um, then they, she mentioned uh, she he might have already known, 
Um, or maybe he just knew he knew who Percy Jackson was. He didn't know that that was Percy Jackson and that, that was Annabeth. Um, uh, but then, or he might have. I don't know. But you know, she's one of those like you know we're Luke's friends, and that's when he's like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna step away from this. Actually, let's just go talk. Um, <clears throat> and I kind of figured that Annabeth that that he let Annabeth pickpocket him because one, he's a god. And two, he's, you know, one of his things is, he, yeah, he's the he's the god of travelers. He's also the god of thievery. <laughs> so I would assume that he had to have known. Um, but I did thought, I thought it was great. She's like, I'm, I'm multi-talented. So she also, I mean, one, he might have noticed, but she's still good at pickpocketing. Because he didn't, like, you know, because if, if he was, like, super obvious, or she was, like, super obvious, he might have still not acknowledged it. I don't know. But she would have had to... Like she'd have to have known that he had acknowledged it, but anyway, um, granted that's that could be a very helpful skill to have later for uh, the Annabeth has, um, but yeah, like we see, like even more, going more into it, like the the gods stay away that they have to stay away because that could make things worse um, for for those that they love. Um, it's still some of the gods still have, yeah, you know, that doesn't excuse the, what they do. Um, Especially on Athena's part, I feel like. Well, not especially on Athena's part. Um, but just like... A, just... At the very least, like, at the, the temple aspect. Like, that she's... Nobody... Like, a monster shouldn't have been able to enter the temple. But because she embarrassed her, she's like, Okay, I'm taking my protection off the temple. So it's just like... That is... That's, that's not within the realm of just like... Well, I can't do anything. I have to step away. I was just like, that's a protection that's like just there, um, and I'm removing that. Um, it's just stupid. And anyway, um, and she's not the only one. Others. I mean, Ares is just terrible in general. <laughs> Ares is just terrible. Um, um, uh, but you know, we definitely saw that he wanted to help, and we saw the pain that it, it that he had. The one the, the, of the fact, like remembering that he had tried, it was interesting that he had a he like l reminded them of other things like they when they tried to help or or pass something in their past that like really affected them. Let me I'm gonna go back actually because I don't remember what that was about. It was just the aspect of Percy constantly getting kicked out of out of school, having putting his like feeling like he's disappointing his mother and putting her through a lot. Is that what that was scene was about? Because it was a younger younger Percy. Um, and also we didn't see Annabeth's situation, which probably was, you know, letting, uh, her feeling like she's letting, um, Thalia die. Um, I don't know. Um, but that was interesting that he can do that. But I guess it's a god, it's just, I don't know if that's maybe just a straight up god thing, that he was able to, like, access, like, let them see, bring that memory to the forefront. That might not be a strictly Hermes thing, that might just be a god thing that they can do um <laughs> going forward a little bit i loved the driving scene <laughs> just like the, like the music that was being implemented like it was such like it was a such a high intense thing of like this is the most dangerous thing we've done on this mission yet this is something that like Annabeth even doesn't even want to touch she's like Percy's like you know you can give this a shot anytime and she's like uh uh <laughs> no way <laughs> And like they came up to like the the the, the part that was like a turn, and they he like looks at her. She's like, "You got this." Serious face, like she wasn't even like smiling or anything, or or but she was like really <laughs> supporting. him. was like, you know, this you can do this. This is something we have to do. <laughs> like this the slow drive up and, and the slow turn, um, uh, and then with the music playing that though, like <laughs> so so funny. Like these twelve year olds, like they were doing these crazy life or death defying things fighting a chimera nearly dying uh dealing with medusa dealing with the with electo and the other fury and then in this when it comes to just simply driving a car that's something they're like all of them are just like no no way <laughs> not even gonna try and they try and it's just like the most terrifying thing for them almost oh that was too funny oh yeah going uh going uh back a little bit or well it kind of going to the point that what uh um the narrator mentioned that they crossed the deadline I mean, it hadn't crossed the deadline yet but whenever the iris messaged back to luke to to try to reach chiron um 
Luke had brought up that you know that they met, had gotten back that you know they're going to they're getting ready to go to war, so the cabins start to take sides, which is very terrifying and 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 heartbreaking to think about. Like these kids who have like a lot of them been training with each other for years to survive against monsters. Now they're having to take sides against each other to possibly take each other, not possibly like uh, to inevitably take each other's lives. It's just like because their parents are will you know summon them to their side more so it's just it's and then and you know another spoiler you can see to the point why luke is so pissed off at his dad and so hell-bent to basically take down the gods um because of situations like this is like whenever the gods have a disagreement and set on to war against each other they will pit their children against each other to fight for them in their name and it's just you know they don't have to deal with the consequences but those that their their kids do um that's a kind of a thing with with luke like also he has this scar because of something he did in name of his father um but you know received it didn't receive anything much uh for it um and and he doesn't see the, that his father doesn't really care much or, or pay much mind to him but as Hermes said they can't really interact with them it's it's something that they're basically forbidden to do however they're also forbidden to like make any kids with you know with mortals but they do that all the time we also see that whenever whenever Annabeth brought up that you know Grover knows who thinks he knows who took the basketball we see that Luke there's kind of like I don't know if you can necessarily see it in his face or, or but it's almost I I almost feel like you can't see in his face and almost like hear it a little bit. Like he, I feel like he was doing it, uh, uh, like he was doing his best to hide it. Maybe I'm looking too much into it just because I know the situation, but like, like the fact that he was worried that they know who took the master bolt, that they didn't know it was him. Um, but let me, let me just see if I can, let me just look and see if it, it, it kind of came across. Um, and not being too obvious either. Cause I mean, that could be easily done as well. Okay, well, they, they said we know we know who stole the bolt. So they didn't say we think we know. We know who stole the bolt. Um, I don't know if he necessarily shows that in his face or anything, but um, almost, I don't know. I feel like he, the way he kind of, it kind of shows, maybe it's like he's almost like, that doesn't sound right. Um, or there's no way you know. Kind of almost look on his face maybe. Um, and, and I don't know, again, I could be just reading too much into it just cause like, just the fact that I know that it's Luke and that Luke was probably worried that they know it's, that he's onto them, but he's not, I don't know if he's necessarily showcasing it. Um, but I almost feel like he is. Um, but I like that they also, cause I think they did it in the book too, but I, but even if they didn't, I like how that they did that in here. It's like, okay, so we know who did it. You know, Ares, Grover was talking to Ares. He was obviously hiding who to lighten bolts. So who did he cover for? You know, apparently his favorite daughter, Clarice. Um, and I don't—I didn't bring it up in the in the talk last time because I, I mean I thought about it afterwards because um, I was just—I I think I was just too much on, worried about the the point the point that they were on to Luke so early. Um, but I think that was even a, a a thing in the book that they were suspecting Clarice. Um, they might have even told Luke. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I think they were even suspecting Clarice in the book as well. It's been a minute since I read the first, uh, since I read the, read the book. Um, but I do like that. And I also like in the conversation, like they were having like how, how their week's been going. And then the back and forth between Percy and Annabeth and Luke, Luke's just like, what's, what's, what is, what's this going on? When did you two become a married couple? <laughs> then like, kind of, they just kind of poking, po prodding, uh, poking at the, the, the relationship, uh, slowly building between Percy and Annabeth. Um, and then Percy just like, not have to change the subject, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I think that also the, like the, the, these little, these, these little, these actors, like, you know, uh, Walker, Leah, uh, Arian, like all of them doing such a fantastic job with all their, with their acting, with their deliveries, like with the small, with the, like sp certain lines are just, they just are so well, uh, delivered, like the, the way, like certain comedic lines are funny, are done so well. Um, there's the, I'm not, not, not to change the subject, but I'm gonna, um, so funny. I love that scene. <laughs> and they, and just kind of like ignoring, kind of just like, or not, well, yes, ignoring, but just like, 
I'm not going to acknowledge what you just said, uh, Luke. Um, that was so good. I'm, and I love that interaction too, with like Luke kind of like teasing them, um, which just makes it even more sad of what's going to happen. Um, and I, I don't know how the kid, how the actor, I keep saying the kid, I'm sorry, how the actor is going to uh, portray that scene in the in the end when he when he uh, betrays them. I, I definitely, I'm gonna feel it. It's uh, not to, okay. I'm I'm gonna just like to bring up the book one more time, probably not one more time, but to bring up the book again, <laughs> the movie again. Um, just like the the turn in the movie, it, there was like not really an emotion, or really much of an emotional stab with it. And this one, I feel like there will be just because of how Luke was portrayed in the beginning, of how friendly he was off the bat with Percy and trying to help him and showing how much he actually cares for the like. For like even j just having met Percy, how much he like is trying to look after him, and how much he cares about Annabeth. Like even like they didn't have too much interaction in this in the show, just kind of like, just showing like him telling them their 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 past about how they found her when she was young. Um, but there was also the bit with Annabeth talking about you know how how the three of them were like Luke, while even though Thalia made her work for their friendship, um, Luke just kind of right off the bat was looking after her, and it's just. And just how Luke was talking about how she's she's his little sister. It's 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 gonna be it's gonna hurt. It's gonna suck whenever you know that turn happens when they when they show it. It's gonna hurt Percy because he's like the first friend he had apart from Grove and the first friend he had at the camp. Who uh, like so it's just like uh, and of course Annabeth has known him for so long and they they've been through so much together and it's gonna be a really like. It's gonna shake her, and and she's grown to like she. I don't I I don't know how that's gonna show like how it's gonna affect her growth that she's had so far like of like not of like not wanting to be like the gods. Um, and then all of a sudden Luke is the one that's doing the backstabbing of those that he's cared about. And well, it might it's not gonna be like well since he's like that I'm gonna be like more so like I need to like defend myself. I need to put up walls. So that that doesn't happen, and so that I need to I need to always be analyzing people, so that I can see. Because I let my emotions block my my mind, you know, my my intellect to be able to uh, suss this out, to pick up on the clues. So I'm just hoping that that doesn't happen. I don't think it happened. It didn't really happen in the book, but I can see that happening with Annabeth here, like the way that they've shown her grow and showcasing, like you know, her. She kind of was putting her 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 mind at the forefront, you know. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but just like how having like not letting anybody in, and not just just being you know, kind of being different from the gods basically. Um, so I don't know. I'm hoping. I don't think they'll do that. Um, they'll they'll probably show where she's just a little bit a little more defensive, but maybe not to the a full reset probably. But man, I'm not looking forward to that. See, so yeah, yeah it, the fact that they're making me not looking forward to it is just I think they did a, a good job in the little bit that we've had with Luke because I just think he's, he seemed he seemed like a really good kid. I mean, they made him feel like a really good kid, like not like not like a, a jerk or anything. Like make me believe, but they both made me believe like you know that he is this genuinely good person, but also giving him you know a a, re a reasonable uh, understanding of why he's doing what he's doing. Um, so. I'm gonna hate that. <laughs> I do also like. I know they mentioned this in the last episode. Uh, I mentioned this last episode. They brought up the the nickname of uh, CB Brain, and then they have Percy finally calling her Wise Girl. Um, and they kind of again, it's it's a it's an overt way of like poking uh, po like poking fun at her. But it's also it was and and again, the first time they're using it is in kind of an endearing an endearing way. I feel I feel like. Um, just like, well, okay, well, what's your idea then? Um, uh, even, especially since I know, you know, you probably have a better idea. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I like the, because, yeah, I don't know. I like it. I like they haven't used it too much also. Um, as like a, as like a, hey guys, we did it. We used the, we used the nickname in the books. Are you happy? Um, although there is a kind of bit of that, but not as common not as not as much i feel like they could have like done it right off the bat because in the book she got basically right after they found out she was right after it was like confirmed that he was poseidon's kid she just started calling him seaweed brain as an insult like a full-on just like i hate this kid insult kind of a thing <laughs> um maybe hate this kid's too strong of a word but like at the very least i hate this dude's father um kind of an insult um but 
and showing like their growing connection we kind of almost see like Grover like feel, feeling like he's being pushed aside um, but I think it's also the point like him realizing that he can't really dealt like divulge his own like baggage or his like dr want desire to want to look for pan and help his world um again as we saw that like him talking to augustus and talking to percy after the after they pulled him out of the vr uh game um yeah we kind of just looking more of that so i'm hoping that's going to help one them to kind of and uh, again because like when they were they split up and there was, you know, you saying you for, you know, I, when a grower was saying, I forgot more than you guys seem to have, what's that about? And, and the saying, well, we weren't alone. And I did, again, a lot of that little connection to that person and are growing. Um, but hopefully that's going to help kind of like bring the whole group. Um, and then kind of, so want to, to give Grover like a little more of, of, uh, push to like want to talk to his friends about what he wants to do. Because um, he hasn't really done that. Uh, he just seems like he, he, like he, I guess he can't burden them or her that they won't understand. Very small, uh, interesting small thing about uh, whenever we were kind of like introducing Hermes in this, um, mentioning this boy who washed up on sea, on, on the uh, on the coast. I'm thinking that was like kind of them having a nod to Ogigia, um, where Calypso is, her her island, the one that where like where heroes go whenever after when they've basically just survived a deadly. Uh, catastrophe and they wind up washing onto shore those that she would end up falling like someone that they are that she is going to and, and definitely fall in love with in the short amount of time that you know they stay there um just a little, a little bit of a spoiler that kind of i'm kind of excited and i they ha that's a big that's a big thing in uh later books so i'm kind of hoping that they go into that um it's very interesting uh that they brought it up here they see that so maybe that's like kind of a hopeful I, it's probably looking way too far into it um to and, and to put it to be say it's a hopeful nod because that's it's, it's just like a like hey by the way this is here we are acknowledging this exists um that could not, that probably is all that is um something for the fans um but using it using it as like you know he's telling a joke which is that was funny <laughs> but um it was i don't know it was kind of cool to hear that they were talking about the or that little bit of information okay um well we only have two episodes left and we have a couple, you know, now, now, now I feel like maybe that's what they were, what, why everything's are like, why it's so fast paced, um, is like, we're maybe stretching out, uh, some of this, well, there's still a lot going on the next episode, um, or going on the next, for the next two, um, I'm hoping that they're a little bit of, they're on the longer side, I feel like this was, like, this one was like, what, a regular length one, they're usually about 30 minutes, um, 30, 35, I think those, I think the longest was maybe 35 minutes, or was it 30, I don't know. Um, I mean, I could easily check, but I'm not going to right now. Um, no, I can't. Let's see. Uh, oh, the last one's like 35 or so minutes, 35, 38 minutes. Um, which explains why it was hard to edit. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, 35. I'm going to say 35 minutes. Um, so yeah, the big, longest one was about 35 minutes. Um, I... Yeah, there's a lot going on in these next in these last two episodes. Uh, we got we're one. We're going to the underworld. We've already so we've gone to Santa Santa, Santa Monica. Uh, we've got the four gems. Now we have to go to the underworld, which is which the taxi can take us to. Um, we gotta go to the underworld. We got to deal with Hades, um, get his mom back, and make it back to our the top the top. Deal with Ares. You know, barely get out of that. Have a really awesome fight. I hope. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. I've been really excited to see that situation, especially since they didn't have that movie. That was like one of the the biggest one of the one of the many, but one of the biggest disappointments of the movie is that one there wasn't an Ares at all, no interaction, not even the second. They didn't even bring him in the second movie. Anyway, there was no Ares <clears throat> at, at all, and so there was no Ares fight, which is like the biggest one of the like most like intense kind of like sort of build up moment. Not, well, I, it was a huge moment in the book. <laughs> Um, like just really cool, kind of like seeing him really start to understand, like come into his powers a little more, start to feel it. Um, Percy starts to feel, see, feel, start to see Percy come into his powers a little bit and really utilize them in combat. Um, so I hope we get that. I, I mean, they, they, they'll probably, you know, alter it, but like I hope they, they can showcase it in a really cool way. Um, and 
you know, really, like, and what I'm curious about is, like, how they're going to showcase, like, God, the God of War, like, with his, you know, long, crazy longsword. I think it was a longsword. Was it Halberd? I don't remember. Um, go against this little kid who doesn't have as nearly as much experience as a millennial, a, a God who's been alive for a millennia or more. Um, I mean, obviously, Ares is probably going to, like, go easy for a moment because, you know, for the most part, um... Because, you know, he's not going to use all of his energy against him because he probably just wants to torture him or whatever in the fight. But, yeah, I'm just curious how that's going to be played out. Um, and it's going to be interesting because his mom's going to have to see that this time, which is going to be very sad um, and, and worrisome and heartbreaking for her to see that. Um, but, yeah, I just, and, and, of course, the end where we find out with a whole the whole thing with Luke. Um, I'm sorry, I'm doing a whole bunch of spoiler talks because some of the people might not be seeing this um, unless they don't care. Um, which is weird to me, but hey, t teach their own. Um, but yeah, let me have to deal with that thing with Luke and that whole situation, how that's going to affect everybody there at the camp. Like everybody's, everybody at the camp is going to just feel that like, cause he was, everybody's looked up to him. A lot of people, a lot of people, I should say, not everybody, a lot of people at the camp have looked up to him. And so that's going to be just kind of demoralizing for, for a lot of them. Um, it's going to have an effect. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm excited and, and also just kind of worried. Um, I, I'm, I, I, I really enjoyed this show thus far though. I'm, I'm glad, I'm really like, I love what they've done with how they've adapted it, how they changed some things. Like the Lotus Casino was very different, but I, I still really enjoyed it, how they did it. Um, and I like how even they were aware it's still something that happens, still an effect. Like they can't really control that. It's just something that's in the air. They will affect, uh, they will forget and kind of lose time. Um, just because of being in there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so, got two more episodes, guys. This is, things are ramping up real quick. That is it for this week's episode of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to stick around for the next episode, uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Um, we're coming up to the end, guys. Uh, no idea how they're going to do it, so, I'm excited. <laughs>